Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Martin Rauchbau, and I'm the director of Deutsches Haus at New York University. And I welcome you all to this extraordinary event tonight. I don't need to tell you that this is a very special moment to have both Peter Eisenmann and Peter Engelmann here with us at Deutsches Haus. We are honored to welcome one of the most important architects and architectural thinkers of the world, together with the philosopher, editor, writer, and above all, founder of the Passagen Verlag, perhaps the most important German language publishing house for contemporary philosophy. Peter Eisenman needs no real introduction. In an interview, he was once asked why so few architects existed who were also theoreticians. His answer was that architects who didn't derive their work from ideas were not only bad architects, they were not architects at all. It is by no means difficult to connect Eisenmann to the central theme of tonight, architecture and deconstruction, either through his friendship and close collaboration with Jacques Derrida, such as for the famous Cora L. Works project, or his central role in deconstructivist architecture and its theoretical basis. In 1988, he was one of seven architects who participated in MoMA's Deconstructivist Architecture Exhibition. His iconic Wexner Center for the Visual Arts in Columbus in 1989 remains an important point of reference for contemporary architecture. Since this is Deutsches Haus, I should also mention two of Peter Eisenmann's building projects in Germany. In 1985, the house on Checkpoint Charlie in Berlin, and of course in 2005, Berlin's memorial to the murdered Jews in Europe. Peter Engelmann founded Passagen Verlag in 1987, so his publishing house is celebrating this year its 25th anniversary. Passagen Verlag proudly calls itself the first German language publisher of key texts of postmodernism and deconstruction. With far over 1,000 titles, among them texts by Jacques Derrida, Peter Eisenman, Jacques Rancière, Jean-François Lyotard, André Glucksmann, Alain Badiou, François Julien, Hélène Sixou, Jean Baudrillard, Paul Virilio, etc., the Publish House displays current positions on sociology, literature, art, and philosophy, striving to advance and spread reflectiveness that promotes flexibility and tolerance. Architecture and deconstruction is only the first in a series of events at Deutsches Haus, the Passagen series. Peter Engelmann has promised to lure a number of other exciting and relevant thinkers to our little space and help us fulfill our dream, which is at the same time our mission. The Deutsches Haus at NYU becomes not only a meeting place of artists, writers, and thinkers, but also of relevant ideas. Thank you all for coming to Deutsches Haus tonight. I wish you an enjoyable evening. Thank you very much. Thank you all for joining this uh, conversation. I'm happy to welcome Peter Eisenman tonight one of the best known architects of our time, but known as well as the philosopher of architecture of our days. Tonight we will talk with Peter Eisenman about architecture, deconstruction, and inevitably about our common friend Jacques Derrida who brought us together. But first of all, I will say a few words about this event. This conservation is the first one of the Passagen series a series of talks with German and international authors of Passagen Verlag, a German cultural initiative. Why do I say cultural and not publishing initiative? Well, the reason is that I do not understand Passagen as a publishing business. Passagen is neither just publishing nor just a business. Publishing is only one of the media's and activities we use to express our ideas and our critics of today's society. With this series of talks, we want to underscore this point. Passagen is not at all a business. In 25 years, we never made a profit in terms of money. But today, uh, Passagen has an impressive list of over thousands available titles of the best authors of our times comes just an anecdote in my mind. We tried, uh, lately we tried to uh, establish a um, um, distribution in the States and I was contacting uh, American university presses, I don't say which one. And um, we had a meeting and I was prepared to describe our program to say who are our authors and what we are doing and why. Uh, uh, the, the boss of this publishing uh, said, how many you make a year, how many dollars you make a year? 
I said, well, I don't know. B said, under 300,000, uh, we are not interested. So I said, sorry, and that was it. That shows that we are, uh, uh, maybe in America it is common, I was shocked, uh, but even if in Germany we have the same commercialization of publishing, and um, um, yeah, that was it. The reason for this series uh, is the 25th anniversary of Passagen Verlag, which is in the German-speaking world, as Martin said, a synonym for French theory. I started Passagen in, 87, in 1987 with the goal to bring new French theory to the German-speaking world. This was in the beginning and is, today, is still today much more a philosophical and political project as a publishing business. Martin mentioned uh, a lot or most of the names I wanted <laughs> to mention uh, of our authors. I can skip this. As Jacques Derrida said, uh, Passagen was the only publisher who understand what he was doing. And that was something he liked. Uh, this statement shows how we work and what is our interest in this. As we celebrate this year Passagen's 25th anniversary, we decided to start with our partners a series of talks with our authors in order to spread the idea of our project in a different way. We already started in Budapest with a series of talks with well-known Hungarian dissidents like Mihai Vajda and Shanda Ratnoti, who were in trouble in the time of communist power and are today again under attack by the authoritarian Orban regime. Our guests in Vienna will be Alain Badiou, uh, Mihai Weider and Jacques Rancière. In Berlin, Jacques Rancière and André Glücksmann, who, is also, who will be also our guest in New York in autumn. We are very happy to have the NYU and Martin Rauchbauer and Daniela a leader and the team of the Deutsche House as partner in New York. And I want to thank them all so much for giving us the possibility to present to you some of our authors and their thoughts outside of their books here on stage. Today we start Passagen series in New York with Peter Eisenman, who is not only an international renowned architect, but also a leading intellectual, intellectual in his field and uniquely positioned to reflect on architecture in the light of today's most, most important philosophical discourses, especially the construction. But my first guest is not only all this, but if he permits me to say this, he is also a friend. Why do I say this private thing here in public? I say this because friendship plays an important role for our theme tonight, architecture and deconstruction. Peter Eisenman was a close friend of Jacques Derrida, the author of the most important philosophical innovation of our times. Not only did they produce a book together, but they were constantly in a kind of imaginary, but occasionally also real discourse about questions of deconstruction and architecture and architecture and deconstruction. So we can expect from Peter Eisenman the most qualifi qualified and most interesting comments on deconstruction and architecture. I remember Peter Eisenman in Vienna after a talk he held, exhausted, late night in the lobby of the Hilton, starting an in, in intense discussion about deconstruction. What do you think, Peter? Was Jack thinking about this and that concept of deconstruction and so on and so on? He was infatigable when it came to discuss deconstruction and architecture and architecture and deconstruction. I remember this episode not only because I was so impressed by his incredible energy, but also because we didn't come together if it came to describe and understand basic concept and the sense of deconstruction as we deploy, developed, as it was developed by Jack Derrida. Unfortunately, we cannot ask Jack anymore, so we have to try to think uh, to, on our own on these concepts. Today we are happy to have Peter Eisenman with us to explain us his view on deconstruction and what it has to do with architecture. 
with its own architectural works, with its working as an architect. Of course, I prepared some questions, but I hope you will soon join us, you will soon join this conversation with Peter Eisenman and you will ask him his, the questions you have for him.